Dennis Skinner raised eyebrows with his comments on the royal family in unearthed footage, as the former Labour MP made an eerily prophetic comment. Mr Skinner celebrates his 90th birthday today. The former Labour MP represented Bowles over for 49 years, only losing his seat, and his title of Britain's oldest MP, in the last general election. Renowned for his left-wing views and sharp, witty comments, Mr Skinner is a lifelong Eurosceptic and was the longest continuously serving Labour MP until he lost his seat. Mr Skinner became known as the Beast of Balls over due to his aggressive rhetoric, and was suspended from Parliament on at least ten occasions for his outbursts. He is a staunch Republican and regularly heckled upon the arrival of Blackrod to summon MPs to hear the Queen's speech in the Lord's Chamber. In a 1994 interview, Mr Skinner took aim at the royal family over their alleged attempts to be mysterious, whilst being down to earth at the same time. He claimed their attempts to be like soap stars has ultimately resulted in increased negativity towards them. He said, they want to be, on the one hand, mysterious, and on the other hand, they want to be in the public eye, and you can't have both. You can't be both regal and common at the same time, and that's what they've tried to be. They want to be in the footlights, they want to be like soap opera stars. My view is they've stripped away those veneers themselves in the last few years with the net result that the British people, a lot of them, are now saying that the Queen could be the last reigning monarch. Never one to mince his words, Mr Skinner proposed possible career paths for the royals once the institution is dismantled. He said, when we've got rid of them, I don't believe we should be cruel like Mrs Thatcher and throw them on the dole, I think we should provide them with work. I think that Dee and Fergie should become marriage guidance counsellors. I believe the Queen could take a job at Royal Ascot looking after the horses, because that's her real bent. And Prince Philip, he could be running a kebab shop in North London. The royal family was in a far worse place at the time of the interview than it is now, as popularity ebbed after the Queen's Annas Horribilis. Prince Charles and Princess Diana's marriage had broken down irretrievably, Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson had separated also, and Princess Anne had divorced her husband Mark Phillips. Charles admitted in front of some 13 million viewers that he had committed adultery, later confirmed to be with his dear friend Camilla Parker Bowles. Mr Skinner accused the royals of digging their own pit and pushing their own self-destruct button in the years prior to the interview. He expressed his disapproval of being forbidden from saying disrespectful things about the monarchy. He said, we're allowed to say wonderful things about the royal family in the House of Commons. What you're not allowed to say is anything that might be truthful, but that might upset them. So from time to time I've been pulled up because I've said things which I think are important. Mr Skinner has never sung God Save the Queen in his 90 years, and urged Her Majesty to read The Guardian after the newspaper launched a campaign for the UK to become a republic. The news this week that Camilla will become Queen Consort when Prince Charles becomes King will not have come as good news to Mr Skinner, nor will it have been a good 90th birthday present. Polling undertaken by Redfield and Wilton Strategies last year confirmed a majority of Britons still support the royal family. Some 53% of respondents offered their support for the firm, including 26% who said they strongly supported the institution. Just 18% opposed the monarchy, of which 7% were strongly against it, and the remaining 23% neither supported nor opposed it.